Hey guys, it's me again, and I'm here with Jersey Hearts and Squana. The la the and my brother is reading the Lambert, Lambert the sheepish lion. Lambert the sheepish lion. Mr. Stark was having a busy night. He had delivered bundles of babies to all kinds of places. He flew over trees. He flew over the trees. Mr. Stork was glad he had just one bundle left. Early in the morning, Mr. Stork came to a sheep meadow. The sheep were still asleep. This must be the place, thought Mr. Stork. The address on his bundle said, Baby Lambs, deliver to sheep meadow. Mr. Stork flipped up his wings and swooped down. He made a perfect landing. Six mother sheep were waiting in a row. Out of the sack tumbled five baby lambs. Here's your home, Mr. Stork told them. Just pick out the sheep you'll like best, Mr. Stork. She will be your mother. Soon each lamb found a warm, woolly mother. But there was one mother sheep who did not have a little lamb. A tear fell from her eye. Oh dear, said Mr. Stork. I thought I had enough lambs to go around. He picked up the stack and shook it, tumbled out one more baby. You don't look like a lamb, said the stork. He took out his spectacles and checked the order book. Why, you must be Lambert the lion cub, he said. But by then, Lambert had found the lonely mother sheep. Lambert had snuggled up beside her. She did not look lonely anymore. Excuse me, Mrs. Sheep, said Mr. Stork, there's a mistake. That's a lion cub. I will just take him away. He will not bother you again. Mr. Sheep was furious. Lambert was her baby. No one was going to take him away. Mrs. Sheep rammed her big head, pow, right into Mr. Stork. Mr. Stork flew into the air, spectacles and all. That was enough for him. He got out of that sheep meadow just as fast as he could flap his wings. Silly old stork, said Mrs. Sheep. She licked Lambert's little mane. Lambert purred like a kitten. All the other mothers were licking their babies, too. Now run and play, said Mrs. Sheep. And off Lambert went. Lambert watched the lambs playing on the grass. They were having fun. They jumped and leaped about stiff, wobbly legs. Ba ba, they said. Lambert opened his mouth and to say ba, but he wanted to he wanted to play too. But all that came out was a great big meow. All the lambs thought the meow was a very funny sound for a meow, lam for a lamb to make. They laughed and laughed at Lambert. How silly he looks said one lamb. His feet are too big. His tail's too long, said another. Poor Lambert. He felt very sad. His feet were too big. His tail was too long. He was the silliest looking lamb in the meadow. Lambert's mother came to comfort him. Never mind, dear, she, she said. Just play with the lambs and do what they do. You'll grow up to be a fine sheep. Lambert felt much better. He went off to play. But every time Lambert tried to leap like a lamb, he tripped over his big feet and landed on his head. Every time he tried to butt heads with another lamb, the lamb would ram, pow, into him. After a while, Lambert had a very sore head. Never mind, dear, said his mother. You're growing faster than all the others. Lambert was growing fast. Every day he was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Lambert grew bigger and grew more and more sheepish. He never acted angry when the young sheep laughed at him. Lambert just grinned his sheepish grin and pretended not to care. But Lambert did care. He was tired of being butted. He was tired of looking silly. Most of all, he was tired of being different. One night, while all the sheep were sleeping, Lambert woke up. 
he pricked up his ears. A wolf was creeping slowly toward the sheep meadow. It was growling a mean, hungry growl. The wolf was coming to get the sheep. Lambert was terrified. Lambert hid behind his mother. He did not feel brave enough to fight that wolf. But the sheep were not brave either. They were sheepish as a sheep can be. When they heard of the wolf coming, all the sheep ran into the woods. They hid behind trees. Lambert was surprised. Even his mother, who had butted Mr. Stork, was trembling now. Suddenly something would snap in Lambert's head. He forgot how sheepish he had become. He forgot how, how, he, how he was afraid. He forgot how to he forgot to try and say bah. He opened his mouth and roared, and then dashed after the wolf. But Lambert did not forget everything. He had learned in the sheep meadow. He rammed his big head, pow, right into the wolf. The wolf went flying over the edge of a cliff. In all those sheep hunting days, the wolf had never before seen a lion. But one lion was enough for him. The wolf never bothered the sheep again. All the sheep gathered around Lambert. They were not laughing at him. Lambert was a great hero. My Lambert is a mighty lion, said Mrs. Sheep. Did you hear him roar? Lambert purred happily. But it was a mighty purr, a lion's purr. That was Lambert the Sheepish Lion.